Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing nail art that you guys designed. I put a picture of some plain nails on my Instagram story. I also left a comment on my last video with the instructions to do so. I had you guys draw me a nail design and today I picked a couple that I'm going to do. I do want to apologize for missing last week. I have been sick with what you do not want to be sick with right now, if you know what I mean. Um, I'm still not feeling amazing, but I've been really sad that I haven't been able to film and do Halloween activities. If you can tell, I'm already getting out of breath. Um, so I do, again, apologize if today I am a little low energy, but I did want to do my nails and still do this with you guys. I've been really sad not being able to do my nails and everything like that, but I'm not going to ramble too long. Let's just get right on into it. So before we get into which designs I did choose, I wanted to do a couple honorable mentions of ones that I did really like as well. This one from Claire Mostly. I really liked this idea with the whole normal looking nail until it's under a UV light and it looks like splatter. I really love that idea. And then I also really did like this idea from Annie Del Rey with this cute pastel sort of cyber theme. I thought that was a really good idea as well. This idea from Kari Celine. I'm sorry if that is mispronounced. I really like the cotton candy idea because you guys know cotton candy queen. Self-proclaimed. <laughs> Let's not get it twisted. Uh, I thought that was a really cute idea as well. I do want to say thank you to everyone who did send me a design. I appreciate every single one of you. You guys are way better at just drawing the design on your phone than I probably am and even doing it on my nails in real life. So I'm just gonna put that out there, but I'm gonna try today. So let's get into the first design that I'm going to do. The first design I'm going to do is from Addison is, Addison Ismonds or is, Immuns, I am so sorry, but she designed this Slytherin set, which I really, really love. Just the different nails, but it's all so cohesive. And I actually got some nail foils not too long ago that are snake print, and I've been wanting to use them so bad. So I thought this was a perfect design for that. So let's get started on this. So for all of my nails, I am going to be using the E Nail Couture One Two Three Go Nails. I do not have it in me right now to sculpt out or acrylic or whatever all of these nails so we're just going to do some nice easy full cover gel nails today super easy super quick and that way I can mainly focus on the design so let's put these on just super quick I will just run through how I'm going to do this so first and foremost I'm just going to rough up all of my nails using a buffing block you can use a file if you're more comfortable with that I just feel like this is more gentle on your nails and I am so bad about picking up my natural nails that they look wrecked right now when I don't have any on but I just haven't been able to put any on so they are rough extra rough right now I need fake nails to on them or otherwise I pick them to death you really want to make sure that you're getting around your cuticles that is the main area that needs to be roughed up and make sure you don't have any extra dead skin or anything on there that's what's really going to make these stick next I'm going to put on a dehydrator if you don't have a dehydrator use some rubbing alcohol or acetone or something. You just wanna make sure that you don't have any oil on your natural nails. Next, I'm gonna do some primer. And then I'm just gonna go in with this McCart base coat all over the top of every single one of my nails. That way I don't use as much builder. I just like to preserve my builder a little bit more. If you wonder why this looks different, McCart has done a little bit of rebranding and changed up some of their designs. So this is their new standard base coat. So I'm just going to put a thin base coat on every single one of my nails. Bloop, 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 bloop and then just cure that really quick. Can you guys hear that? It sounds like birds fighting like outside my window. Wondering if I need to like go break it up. Now, instead of doing any filing for these undersides today, I'm actually just going to use a bit of primer to chemically sort of etch it. So I'm just going to take my primer and I'm just going to grab my tips out and I'm just going to put a bit of that on the bottom where my natural nail is going to meet the tip. Just put a little bit of that on there. Then I'm gonna take this clear press-on gel and I'm just going to do what you normally do with these press-ons. I know I'm so sorry if this is boring. I feel like this is like a repeat of my last video, 
but that was weeks ago for me at this point. <laughs> All right, so just gonna zoom, zoom, zoom in a little bit. Hello. Okay. So we're just going to take a little bit of this bloop, 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 and then a little bit extra at the edge. So we're just turn that on, push down, cure. And we're just going to repeat that for every single step until they are all on there. I am doing this with a big light right now just cause I just am. Okay, so as you can see, I have one hand done. Let me just quickly do the other hand and let's get started. And here we're all done really quick. I'm gonna take a quick little snack break. I'll go back to it. Okay, so I'm going to rough up my nails so that the gel sticks better. Okay, so let's start with this hand because on this hand, I'm going to have a little bit more actual drawing to do. And I think that would be smart to actually do it with my uh, normal hand. You guys know what I'm saying? My not dom, you know what I mean. You know what I mean. Oh my gosh. Okay, okay here we go. Okay, hand. So I don't think I actually have a green that matches the design. So we're gonna have to make one. Okay, so let's get mixing. Okay, so what I think I'm gonna do is start out with a little bit of black, just because I think that that will be the best color to start with, because it is a darker green, and I only really have like lighter greens. So I'm gonna need a good bit of this, because we will be painting three nails with it. There we go. This is the closest green that I have, and it's so blue toned that it's just not exactly what I want, if you can see. But I'm gonna try to get a nice, drip or something going bloop, like so. Get another drip there. And then to make it a lot greener, I'm gonna add my neon green that I always use, the lime green punch from the gel bottle, of course. Okay, well, let's just see how this goes. Okay, let's mix all of this up and see if we get a nice dark green that we want. I know it looks black, but there is like a green, green tint to it. So I think we're actually going to get somewhere with this. I think I do need to add a bit more of the lime green, but we're getting there. That is more like it. Okay, I actually think this is the perfect color now. So let's get on a painting. So for this we need, yes, perfect. We need the thumb done. Definitely going to need a couple of coats, that's okay. I think I actually made the perfect green color, I am so glad. Do another layer. There we go, love that, do the tip. Okay, so now we'll do the other fingers just really quickly. We're going to do our pointer finger and our, and our pinky finger. Why can't I think of what fingers are called? Cure that. Let's cure that. I think I'm gonna do one more layer for good measure because it's still a little bit see-through on the tip and I don't want that. That's much better though. So for our other base colors, we're going to put black here and I need some sort of really, really beige nude. But again, I don't have one, might have to mix one up. I do have a beige nude, but they're also pink and this one just looks so light, we'll have to see. But for the one with just the snake skin on it, we're just going to put black underneath. I feel like that will work best. Now we need to mix up this middle color. Okay, so I have this color from McCart, it's like a brown. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to put some of this on here. We're not a ton, we don't need much because we just need to do one nail. But that has the sort of tone I want. I just want it to be a lot lighter. So then <laughs> I'm going to mix it with this really, where is it? This really, really light nude tone that I think like the mix between this, I might have to add some white. I don't know. I think I have to add some white. I'm really glad that I asked you guys for these designs because I normally will just go with, you guys know, like the easy route sort of, like I would never go through all of this work for a design and like that I came up with to mix all these like custom colors. But since you created it, then I want to get it like exact. So I will go through all this extra effort. 
let's mix this and hope it comes out. Do you guys think it's gonna come out? I don't know. All right, do you guys think this color is gonna make that color? Let's see. I think for the most part, but I think we need to add, add a little bit more white. Where did I put the white? Here it is. Drip, 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 drip. Okay, there we go. I think that's good. Let's paint this one now. This one's supposed to have that nude color. Ooh, I really like that color. There we go. Let us cure that. I feel like I am being so boring today. I am so sorry. I'm trying to concentrate and just, I'm like so foggy. It's bleh. Okay, so here are my snake foils. Do you guys see this one? This one is absolutely perfect. It matches the one that she drew out literally like almost exactly. I don't know how she did it, but it is so good. So let's pull this out. I'm just going to snip off a tiny bit of this because we only need it for this one nail and close that up before they all pop out like so. Now I'm gonna take my McCart foil glue and I'm gonna put this over the black. Remember with this foil glue, it needs to be cured for 60 seconds fully, like not a second less. So I plan on drawing the snake, like hand drawing it, but if I cannot do it for some reason, then I'm gonna cheat and I'm gonna do this foil glue in a squiggly shape and call it good that way. But that's plan B, let's, let's go with plan A first. Okay, here, so I got this hand. Okay, right, I'm gonna do it this way. Push, 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 push. And we'll push it down. You know, I actually have like a little silicone tool I found when I was rummaging through my items. So I do have one of these. I know you guys were always like, use that thing. And I'm like, I know. So here it is. All right, so let's see how it looks. Wow, that looks so good. Best nail I've done all year. Okay, so next I'm gonna take this Space Kitty gel and this is the magnetic sort of gel. So we're gonna put this on and then we're going to put the magnet over and we're gonna pull all the sparkles into one area. And I thought that's what would look good. This almost looked like a lightning bolt to me. And so I kind of felt like that this gel would be absolutely perfect for this little lightning bolt design that she did. Okay, so this is like a gold color, but it, it does, I think will look a little green once we like pull it over. I've done it over black before and it totally looked green once it all feathered out. So I'm gonna put a thick layer on to try to get like those really defined lines when we do the magnet. So just then gloop a little bit on there. Okay, here we go. So here is the snail. Let's get a zoom zoom up in there. Okay, so she has, can you guys see? Wait, can you see? Yeah, you can see. So let's push it. Hopefully you guys can see what I'm doing in the camera. Okay, I've been working on this for a bit. I hope you guys can see the little line. I'm gonna keep it like that, secure that before I ruin it. So the other two green nails, it looks like sh those are glitter nails. So I'm gonna go see if I have any glitter that matches this dark green. I hope so. Okay, surprise, we have to mix this color again. <laughs> so um, I actually don't have like a dark green glitter. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna take this top coat right here and I'm gonna just mix it with this mica. It is sort of a shimmery in there. So I think it will match really, really well. Just give it a little bit of a sparkle. And since I'm doing it with a top coat and I'm just going to put a little bit in there, I'm hoping it gives it a little bit of a sparkle, but not overpowering. It's not supposed to like fully cover it. So let's do that. I know at this point you guys are like, wow, Emily, how many mixing dishes do you have? The answer is a lot. Let's pour out, oh, just some clear there. Bloop. Okay. And then we're just going to grab this mica. It's called avocado. Open that up. Scoopsies some out. I don't know, good ratio. There we go. Maybe that much. Okay. And now let's mix these. Let's see how this turns out. Ooh, ooh, pretty, isn't it? Wow. 
Okay, so it looks like that little bit of mica went a really long way, noted for future reference. I got all that mica for another custom mixing acrylic video. I just have not, not placed it in when I'm gonna do it. Got a whole bunch of stuff. <laughs> so I think this looks good. Let's just put a thin layer over this. Here we go. Let's just see how that looks. You know, it actually looks okay. It's a lot more pigmented than I anticipated but I still think it looks okay. It could be a little bit darker maybe. I'm going to cure these now. So now let's try to do the snake. I am not super confident about this. We'll see how it comes out. So need a little head, okay. Does that look like an okay head? No. Wipe that off and start again. Is that looking like a snake? <gasps> okay, okay, okay. Don't mess it up, don't mess it up. Does that actually look like a snake? Or a tadpole? But I'm gonna take it, honestly. Wow, okay. Let's cure this before I do anything to mess it up. And yes, I'm just using a bobby pin to do this. I couldn't find, I think my boyfriend actually stole my little ballpoint drawing things. And so I gotta use a bobby pin. We gotta be resourceful. It's going. Okay, so I think I'm gonna add a little bit of this shimmer to it so it doesn't look super out of place. Maybe just like some dots along the way, you know, as if it was like, I don't know, a pattern. All right, let's clean this up. Oh, I guess now's a good time to show you guys my new dish. Look at this cute dish. And it has a little cute little diamond on the top. I'm putting just some alcohol in this to clean up my brushes and clean up the designs in between. There we go, let's cure this. Now let's make sure to do those little white lines on it. Just put, we don't need much, I can do it. Okay, I decided to just like kind of go through like that and then clean it up. I think that's going to be the best way to go about this. Okay, so right now what I'm doing is I am putting gold over the outside of these because it will match much better. And that's what she had on the design. But unfortunately I don't have any of these giant gems with gold as the metal. And so I have to paint it. And again on this one. Okay, so I'm just gonna grab some of this crystal gel and I'm gonna put some right here. On this design, she just put two large rhinestones. Very pretty. And now this side, put a nice hunk of it over there. Ooh, that one's big. <laughs> It's okay, perfectly fine with me. All right, ooh, let's cure her before she starts to slide. Okay, and here these are so far. Now I am at a crossroads where I don't know if I wanna do them matte or shiny. So I just asked the person that created this set which one they're supposed to be. So that way I don't have to decide. And the answer is both. Okay, so what I believe we should do is we should have this be matte and then this be matte, but the snake shiny, and we'll go from there. Also, I'm so sorry for my face disappearing right now, but um, that camera died. Okay, matte. And we'll put matte over this as well, and then we can go over the snake with just the shiny. And I'm gonna actually just test how I feel about these ones being matte. So let's just try one of them. Okay, let's try this. Okay, so looks great needs to touch this up. I also don't know how I feel about these. I feel like they just don't look amazing. I'm gonna fix them really quick. I think what I wanna do is put the thinnest layer ever of this space kitty gel over. I just, I don't know. I feel like they don't match the rest, if that makes sense. So let's just do like a super, super thin. Yeah, I think that's gonna look better. You guys think that's better? I think that's better. Let's just fix this one real quick. That's better. I think that's much better. 
Okay, so here we are. I'm gonna just put a top coat over everything else now and a little bit of shiny on this snake. Okay, we have one design down. I'm gonna do the final rose wheel outside because they always look better in the natural daylight, but I'm gonna actually finish this up in another day. So I will look different tomorrow because <laughs> it's getting pretty late and I'm tired. So I will see you guys um, for you in a second. For me in like, I don't know, 12 hours. Okay, welcome to day two of doing this video. So for today's design, I am going to do one from Grustopia. I'm not sure how to pronounce that first part, but they sent me two designs. This one with a alien sort of hollow theme, but I feel like I've done aliens quite a bit before. So I'm going to go with their second design, which is just a little bit more of a classic, cute little, you know, stitched Halloween set. I really like this one. It's really simple, but it's really cute. So that's what we're going to be doing today. So let's get started with this one. So I feel like I actually have these color matches down straight out of the bottle. So I don't think we're gonna have to mix anything for this video. You guys are probably like, oh, thank God. So I'm gonna be using these shades from McCart and it seems like we are sticking to sort of a pastel theme, which I am totally about. So this color went on super nicely. Hopefully it clears, clears, cures, cures just as well. And I don't think we'll have to do a second coat. So let's just cure that really quickly. Okay, just kidding. I do have to mix one color. Not a lot, just a little bit. Just gonna do a little bit of that. It looks like really, really orange on camera, I think, but it's a lot peachier than the picture. So for that, I'm just gonna add a little bit of yellow and we'll get a better orange. Here we go. And now we'll just do some mixing. Yep, this one's gonna be perfect. Hopefully I do have enough though. I think I should since it's not that much. It's just like little drippies. Okay, so I'm just going to like paint the tips of these and get a different brush. Perfect, love those drips. Let's cure this now. All right, now last for this green, just a little bit on my middle finger right here. Just seems like a quick little swipe like that. And a little bit down here as well. I'm gonna try to do this with this brush. Is that a good idea? Probably not. I'm gonna do it anyway. This will definitely need a couple coats. Okay, so I saw that they put stars on those, so I'm not sure if those are supposed to be rhinestones because it says that the other ones are supposed to be rhinestones and those are the same color. So I'm going to check and see if I have any star shaped gems or rhinestones or something of that nature. I hope I do. I feel like I should at this point. If not, then I guess I will draw them. But first, let's do the black little designs. This one I think should be super easy for me. I would knock on some wood if there was. Is this wood? So just some stitches and a cute little face. A couple cute little faces. Okay. So I just want to start with the little stitches. I think that is super cute. Okay. See, you can you guys see how close I am when I'm like doing these sort of things? I'm like, hello. <laughs> All right, so that's good. So I'm going to cure that before I add anything else. That way we can make sure that those lines stay good. If you're using gel polish to do designs, that's something nice about them. You can just cure it. And if you mess up on top of that, you can wipe it off, change it. Do you think they sort of need a second coat because they're not quite as dark as I would like? And if I mess up, I can just wipe it away like so. Now we'll do these little lines. This is honestly so cute, but so simple. Love it. 
If any of you recreate these designs, make sure to tag the original person that designed it. I will leave these two people's Instagrams below. All right, let's move on to the faces. Okay, I can do it, I can do it. Just like a nice little bloop, bloop, right? Right? Let's cure that. I think those are good. Before I do the mouth, in case I need to wipe off the mouth like entirely. Nope. Hmm. No. Let's try that again. You know what? I think that's fine. It doesn't need to be perfect. It's stitched up. Okay, time for this finger. Just do the same thing. So this isn't the right mouth, but I really like how this mouth came out. It's really cute. Can I leave it? Maybe I'll just do like a little like... Boop. I'm leaving that. I think it's cute. And I ruined it. <sighs> Okay, so it turns out I actually do have some gold stars, which I think will work really well with this. So let's try to pick them out of here. I saw some perfect ones. It's all like in this gold stuff. Look at this star, isn't it perfect? Okay, so I have these stars and they look exactly like the ones that they put. So I'm gonna put these on now. I think I'm just gonna honestly put these on with a little bit of glue. Okay, so I wanna try to do the proper star placement like they have, so. I feel like they have one down here. And then I'm also just gonna put one up here too because I can't see that side because that's how I position my nail. So I'm just going to put one there anyway because I think it'll look good. There we go. I do like this little addition of the stars. I think it's cute. I also really like that these stars are curved so they do fit your nail nicely. Definitely makes it easier to go on. Did one just fling off? It's okay, I found it. So I'm gonna take a little bit of creative liberty with the color of the rhinestones. If you watched me a little bit ago, you guys will see that I got all of these really pretty iridescent rhinestones and it's actually kind of hard to find iridescent colored rhinestones. It's really easy to find just the sort of clear reflective ones, but for them to be colored and iridescent, that's not super easy. So I got these, but I really wanted them in smaller sizes. So I searched and I actually found some on Etsy. So I will of course leave all the usual links below, but I was so excited to find these. So let's just put this in this little container that I have already. Figure that's the easiest way to do it and we might as well just do it together. I do want them in a rainbow if that's possible. Whenever you want like the iridescent sort of rhinestones, I'll give you an example. You can see on these rhinestones where it's reflecting different colors like green and stuff like that. And then on these ones, they're not. They're just staying these solid colors. You guys can see those like silver ones in there. These ones are AB rhinestones. So if you want these type of ones, you need to make sure that they're AB. I have been buying so much nail stuff on Etsy. I don't know why I never looked before, but I got really into nail stickers after I got some Halloween ones not too long ago. And oh my God, there's so much good supplies on Etsy. I did not know. So I will definitely be buying stuff from Etsy a lot more. I'm trying to decide if I got two the same color. Did I, or are these different? I can't. Cannot tell. I think they're the same. Where's my phone? Wow, it's right here. I'm gonna look and check what I ordered. Okay, no, I got all different colors. So these are all supposed to be different colors. I guess they're just like topaz and champagne and then like yellow. So they're all really similar. Oh yeah, now that they're out of the package, I can see the difference for sure. Oh wow, those ones are so pretty. Look at that. Ooh, look at this. Look at how pretty these ones are. These ones are like a full on 
like oil slick looking rhinestone. That is so cool. Love those ones. Just looking at this mix of rhinestones right here for real gets me my day's worth of serotonin. So pretty. So as I was saying, I'm going to take creative liberty with the rhinestones and I'm gonna actually use these orange ones right here. I think they will match well with everything else going on. So, so pretty. Let's get on that. I'm gonna just again use this glue. <laughs> Uh, Cause I'm not doing many and so I don't want to do like a whole, I don't know. And then I'll top coat everything. I'm going to top coat over these stars. Pretty. Now let's just do this side really quick. Pretty. All right, and last but not least, the top coat. I think these look better, are gonna look better shiny for sure, so I am just going to do them shiny. If you're looking at my cuticles and you're like, oh, that looks a little rough, I know. I should have filed the sides of them to make it fit my natural nail a little bit better because they are pretty square and my cuticles are pretty rounded. So naturally they're gonna like look a little when you put square things on something round. So that's my bad. I was hoping I could do it just like up far enough to where you really wouldn't be able to tell, but then I didn't and you know, excuses, excuses. One final cure. So I am going to do the final reveal of the nails outside because we all know they look best in the daylight. But I wanted to say thank you guys so much for watching. And again, sorry for missing last week. I don't foresee myself taking any more little breaks or anything. So yeah, make sure to give this video a like if you enjoyed it. It helps me out a lot and I really appreciate it. And I will hopefully see you guys next time. Bye.